All right guys, so today we got an arm workout video. Now for context, I do have pretty naturally, like my arms respond pretty good to workouts. Now, majority of my arm size comes from dips and pull-ups and you know, doing that over time and being heavy in my compound movements. Now, before we get into the arm workout, I do wanna say that nothing will work out without proper nutrition and consistency. So listen, if you're trying to grow any muscle, you know this. You gotta have proper nutrition and you gotta make sure that you're very consistent. Arm routine, if you wanna put some size on your arms, you wanna, you know, break that plateau that you've been having, then let's get right into it. And another thing is, usually for workouts, like once you get your base foundation, like once you do, you know, push pull legs over time and you kind of find what your weaknesses are, that's kind of what you emphasize. So if one of your weaknesses are arms and everyone always wants bigger arms, I'll walk you through the workout exactly what I do. I like to pre-exhaust my arms if I do like a dedicated arm workout. Without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm gonna be at the top corner of the screen. So here we go, we're gonna start off with some tricep push downs and some cable curls, all right? So the tricep pushdowns, as you can see, it's working my tricep, of course. I do anywhere from 15 to 20 reps. I'm just trying to get blood into the muscles. The weight isn't that heavy. That's not what I'm focusing on. I'm really focusing on the mind-muscle connection. As you can see, my tricep looks big as shit right here um, because I'm getting a pump, right? When you're natural and you are working out, you have a good pump. As soon as you're done with the workout, well, not as soon as you're done with the workout. When you're done with the workout, the pump goes away. It's very depressing, it hurts. You know, all right, here, here I go. I'm going right into the cable curls right after it. Like I said, I'm supersetting these two movements to get a lot of blood flow into the arms. So by the time I hit every single arm movement for the day, all I feel is arms, like literally. Bicep, tricep, bicep, tricep. Every bicep movement I feel, I'm gonna feel my biceps because of this pre-exhaustion and then every tricep move, I'm gonna feel my tricep. All right, we're trying to take away the stress from the shoulders, which is why I start with the cables. Like I said, I like to pre-exhaust everything. Here's me doing some more curls. And like I said, when you do these, you really want to squeeze. The good thing about cable curls is the constant tension that you do get with the entire movement. As you can see right here, like I said, my arms look big as shit. Shout out to the camera too. The camera is the real reason my arms look big as shit. You know, it's a, it's a prime lens. But yeah, so another four sets. And then we're doing some tricep pushdowns as well. Now, after the first two to three sets, if I feel like I want to up the weights and feel more, you know, if the weight feels too light, I'll up the weights. Like right here, I'm gonna up the weights, and then I'm gonna go again. So here we go, here we go. I up the weight, and then now I'm gonna do some more curls and some more tricep push-ups. Like I said, man, one of the biggest things for any muscle group, a lot of people are always trying to grow their muscles, and they are just ignoring, literally they're ignoring progressive overload, number one. Number two, they're avoiding like feeling the actual muscle. They're just going through the motion. You don't wanna just go through the motion, all right? You wanna feel the actual muscle. If you're working chest, you better be feeling your chest. If you're working quads, you better be feeling your quads, not your hamstrings, you know what I mean, or your glutes. If you're working chest, you shouldn't be feeling all shoulders, rotator cuff. It just means you're doing the movement wrong and you didn't prime your muscles correctly before actually getting into the movement, all right? All right, next, I'm gonna do some more tricep push -ups. This is the fourth set. I'm not gonna show you the cable curls for the fourth set. I didn't wanna show every single set because I was trying to get the workout at the same time. One of the things about making content and like actually doing the workout, it's like, okay, I might lose my pump in the middle of it. So yeah, because I'm like setting up the camera, things like that. All right, but yeah, doing some tricep pushdowns, as you can see, like I said, you wanna just focus on the movement and really work your triceps. Make sure you go all the way down on the tricep movements. All the way down is gonna work your triceps, all right? We all know that, you gotta extend all the way though, make sure you do that. All right, so next, the next movement we're gonna get into, close grip bench. My rack didn't come in yet, so I'm doing the ghetto style close grip bench. I gotta power clean the weight up, which is cool. It is what it is, but once my bench comes in, I could actually start lifting heavy. I could do like 315 like I usually do, but this movement is one of the best for your triceps as well, close grip bench press. Now, for a close grip bench press, you don't want you don't have to have your hands touching. You just want a closer grip than regular bench press, all right? Make sure you go all the way up because that's how you're going to work your triceps. All the way up, guys. All the way up. I see a lot of people, they kind of half-ass this or they go too light. Like, like I said, for me, I can do this with 315. So as soon as my rack comes in, I'll show you guys some more workouts as well. Um, that I've just been waiting on that. But yeah. And then I did this for four sets. I forgot to be saying the sets ranges and shit. But anyways, yeah, for this I did four sets of, since it's lightweight 12 to 15, usually if it's not this lightweight, I'll do anywhere from six to 10 for the tricep, right? Just to make sure that I'm getting tricep under a lot of stress, all right? All right, and then the next move I'm gonna do is gonna be some regular old curls, guys, regular curls. Now, people ignore curls like curls suck. Listen, curls are still a solid movement. I did four sets of these for 12 reps as well and I'm really squeezing at the top. I like to do them with anywhere from 25s to 35s. 
I know some people like to do them with like 60s and 70s and just crazy ass weight, but I can really control and feel this weight. And as you can see, I'm getting a pretty good pump and I'm really working the actual muscle that's intended to be worked in the first place. And that's always the goal. You want to work the actual intended muscle. So you get a good mind muscle connection when you actually focus on the weights. All right, guys. And then next, what we're going to do is some hammer curls. All right. So we're doing some hammer curls now. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Well, yeah, then I had to take my shirt off because, I, you know, I was feeling myself. Feeling thyself, guys. Feeling thyself. So I had to take my shirt off, man. And listen, one of the best things about working out is the confidence boost that you get from doing workouts, guys. You get a huge confidence boost when you start working out just because you're doing what you said you're going to do, but also the endorphin release, and you look better than you used to look, right? That's the main thing, looking better than you used to look. It's not, it's not about looking perfect. It's about looking better than you used to look. The improvement that you make is one of the biggest things, all right? So yeah, I'm doing some hammer curls. I did four sets of these. Anywhere from 10 to 15 reps. Um, I do these with 25s as well. I don't have my adjustable dumbbells yet. Those are also coming in, all right? So you guys got to give me some time for everything to come in. You're welcome. All right, now I'm going to finish them off with some, you know, God-tier lighting curls. All right, God-tier lighting curls, all right? Now, I did skip a movement. There should be some tricep kickbacks in here. I don't know where it went. Let me look for it real quick. Yeah, there should be some tricep kickbacks. So right here, I'll insert some tricep kickbacks. Now, tricep kickbacks are really, really, really good for you know your triceps as well because you get a very good mind muscle connection as well um yeah i guess i just didn't i just i, I get, didn't film it or i might have erased the video up oh, here it is yeah so i'll insert the tricep kickbacks here you'll see it it's very very good for your triceps obviously it's good for mind muscle connection as well so here's the thing guys appreciate you guys watching i appreciate everybody watching if you're trying to get in the best shape of your life if you're trying to get lean you're trying to get shredded trying to grow muscle and you need some structure Link is going to be in the description. I appreciate you guys for always rocking with me. Y'all have a blessed day.